Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are a Windows user, starting down the end of support for Windows 10 next month, or just someone curious about Linux alternatives, today's video is for you. We are diving into the newly released Zorin OS 18 Beta, a user friendly Linux distribution that's positioning itself as a smooth upgrade path for millions of people with older hardware. I'll break down what's new, why it matters, and how you can give it a spin. Let's get into it. First up, a quick primer. Zorin OS is a free, open source operating system based on Ubuntu Linux, designed to feel familiar to Windows and Mac OS users. It's been around for over 15 years, focusing on ease of use, performance, and customization. With Windows 10 support ending on October 14, 2025, experts estimate that around 240 million PCs won't qualify for Windows 11 due to hardware requirements like TPM 2.0 and newer processors. That's a huge number of machines that could end up in landfills or gathering dust. Unless you switch to something like Zorin OS, which breathes new life into older hardware without forcing you to buy a new gear. The big headline for Zorin OS 18 is its refreshed design and productivity boost. The desktop environment has a modern, rounded aesthetics with lighter colors for accents and slightly tinted backgrounds to reduce eye strain. The taskbar or panel now floats with curved edges. And the workspace feature gives better visual cues for multitasking. Apps like the file manager, settings menu, calendar, and even the email client have been updated for cleaner layouts and easier navigation. There's also a new camera app that's simpler for switching between webcams and taking shots. One standout feature is the advanced window tiling system. If you have ever used snap layouts in Windows, this takes it up a notch. Just drag a window to the top of the screen and you will see the present layouts to snap multiple apps into place. No complicated shortcuts needed. You can customize these layouts, enable auto tiling or set up keyboard controls if you are a power user. It's intuitive for beginners, but flexible enough for pros, making multitasking feel effortless. Zorin OS 18 also bridges the gap between web and desktop apps seamlessly. There's a built-in tool to turn any website into a native-like app that shows up in your start menu. This works with popular browsers and lets you run things like Microsoft 365, Google Workspace, or even Adobe tools right from your desktop. Plus, for those tied to Microsoft ecosystems, you can now integrate OneDrive directly into the file manager via online account setup. Sign in once and your cloud files appear in the sidebar for easy access. Switching from Windows, Zorin has expanded its app compatibility guide to over 170 popular programs. If you try to install a Windows executable, it suggests native Linux alternative or web versions. Think recommending LibreOffice for Microsoft Office or similar tools for specialized software. New color themes in yellow and brown and more personalization options. And the Pro version will soon include three extra desktop layouts a compact panel for more screen real estate, one inspired by Linux Mint and a minimalist style like elementary OS. Under the hood, performance is snappier, thanks to optimizations across the system. Built on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS, with the Linux kernel 6.14 for better hardware support. Features like global file search, improved multi-monitor handling in the menu, centered window placement by default, and enhanced audio 
with lower latency, especially on Bluetooth. Make everyday use smoother. It's got long-term support until 2029, which is great for stability in homes, schools, or businesses. From what I've seen in early user feedback on platforms like X and forums, people are excited. Many are praising this sleek new look and how it makes Linux feel less intimidating for Windows refugees. One user called it stunning and said they tempted to switch after years on other distros. Tech sites are highlighting its role as a timely alternative, with some noting the beta's polish despite being pre-release. Of course, as a beta, it's not perfect. Things like the full wallpaper set and welcome tour are still being finalized. So expect some bugs. If you want to test it, head to the official Zorin website to download the core beta ISO. You can run it from a USB drive without installing or set it up on a spare machine. Just remember, betas aren't for your main work computer. Back up your data and report any issues via the feedback tool in the menu. Upgrades from Zorin OS 17 aren't available yet, but they will come after the stable release in a few weeks. Overall, Zorin OS 18 beta looks like a solid step forward for making Linux accessible without sacrificing power. If you are reading the Windows 10 deadline or just want a faster, more secure OS, this could be worth checking out. Have you tried Zorin before? Let me know in the comments. Drop your thoughts on the beta or any questions. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech breakdowns. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.